Hello everyone, welcome back to Techie Pocket, and in today's video, we're going to hopefully be fixing up this Dell XPS Generation 3 computer by simply adding a new PSU to it. The diagnostic codes on the back were showing that the PSU is failing or something, so hopefully by replacing it with this EVGA 400 watt power supply, the PC should be back in working condition. So let's get right into this. Speedify is an app that you can use to merge all of your internet connections and get the fastest speeds possible. Click the link below to learn more. Okay everyone, sorry for the bad and echoey audio. Hopefully I'm gonna get my Blue Yeti set up, so give me a moment. Okay, hopefully the audio is a little bit better. I'm not sure if really it made any difference, but uh, yeah, that's how it's gonna be. So. We're gonna set up a- I'm gonna set up a time lapse. I need to clean up this table, so let's speed this up now. Okay, all ready. We got everything ready. We got my EVGA 400 watt PSU here, my um, heat sink that I'm going to put in, and the dermal paste we're going to use is the IC Diamond. So, uh, yeah, let's get on with this. Okay, guys, so we're inside the computer now. I'm sorry I couldn't get the Blue Yeti set up because uh, the, my desk is nowhere near here. So, let's uh, start hooking up the power supply into this thing. Oh man, look at those ribbon cables all over the place. Really, cable management is sort of impossible with this this thing. You'd really have to put it in a new case. Anyways, the new PSU is here. Let's plug it in. This is non-modular, so there is going to be this big, uh, I guess, what you call ketchup and mustard mess, but let's see if this PSU is even compatible with this thing. Uh, where would I put it? I think I'm gonna put it right here behind the camera. Now, first, I want to make sure this 24 pin will fit in here. I'm not sure where I'm gonna have to put this power supply. First of all, actually, I'm wrong. I have to first get this thing off. This is the uh, dual fan for the piece, the uh, CPU. I gotta get the um, heatsink on. So let's clean that old dermal paste off and replace it with, where did I put it? The Icy Diamond, so yeah. It's already pretty clean, but let me get some napkins and clean that. I actually don't have napkins near me. I'm just going to see if the Q-tip will work. I don't know. I just want to see. I'm a little curious. It's actually working pretty well. Oh wow, this is actually working way better than napkins. Okay, so now I know. If you have some dermal paste you need to clean off, and it's on a very small surface like this one, you can definitely use uh, uh, Q-tips or cotton swabs. This definitely works very good. There we go. That'll get thrown away when we're done with this, but let's finish this first. Okay, the IC Diamond. I actually managed to get that off. Usually it's really tight. I'm almost out of this stuff, but I have MX4, so we don't have to worry about that. IC Diamond is definitely, uh, like, overkill for this processor. But I'm gonna do it anyways. If I can even get it on. I don't know if there's even anything in this. Oh yeah, there is some. There we go. <clears throat> that should be enough. Yeah, I think that's enough. Especially considering this is an old processor. It shouldn't need more than that. Now, uh, the heat sink. Sorry, I know the lighting is bad. That's another thing. The lighting is definitely no good because of the lighting not coming in right. I 
let's get this in. This green slotty things. I don't like the way they set that up. Anyways, that's it. Now we gotta put these green slots in and we're done. Seriously though, I don't think I don't think these plastic things are gonna actually hold this thing in at all. I think it's it's just to make you feel good that it's in there, but seriously, these plastic things are nowhere near strong enough to hold that. Another thing is I have four gigabytes of memory in here. I believe this is DDR2. There's four sticks each one gigabyte, so that's good. Uh, those are all plugged in. There we go. Nice and in there. Hopefully I can get it working with the new power supply. So let's get this 24 pin plugged in. Let's see if this is the same cable. Yeah, that's the same cable. Okay. Next is that how that uh, PC cable, I think. No, it's called uh, the CPU cable. That's what it is. And this thing won't clip on. Come on. Hold on. Get it in there. Yes. There we go. Sorry for the camera wiggle, that, that's because the camera is on the desk. I actually have to take this fan out one more time because the uh, CPU is right here. That is a, what is that? Four pin, oops, okay. Let's see, where is a four pin? Yes, this is it. So this is actually uh, an eight pin, I mean two four pins to make an eight pin. I split them, now this should go right in there. This thing comes out. It's already becoming a cable management mess. But what can you expect? On an old computer, it has to be a cable management mess. There we go, got that in. Now we gotta get this tucked down so it doesn't interfere with the fan. Put this fan back on. There we go. Get these cables out of the way. Now what? Will this thing get out of the way? I don't think so. Oh, we can tuck it in here for now. There we go. Now what? Uh, what's next? I don't really see anything else being powered. This. This. What, what, I wonder what kind of GPU this is. Let me see if I can look that up. Let's see, can we get this thing out? Where's the slot? There we go. There we go. What kind of GPU is that? Hmm. It's definitely a Radeon, but still an ATI card, so it's definitely old. But I have no idea um, what card this is. If, if one of you guys recognize this, please tell me in the comments down below because I'd like to find out. I know I can probably easily find out by looking it up online. I should be able to find pictures of this. So, anyways, slot this back in. Now, this thing unplugs. We get the VGA cable. What is that thing, a six pin? Yeah, this should go right in there. Now, what's next? We need to power the hard drives. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Nope, you can't. Okay. I'll be right back. I need to clip onto this. Okay, I think that's the best camera angle I can get, so let's continue now. Gotta hook up the HDDs now. Hmm. What kind of hard drive is this? I'm guessing it's a Maxter. I think that's what it was. Yeah, that's a Maxter. I don't think that company exists anymore. There's no SATA cable, so I have to get that also. Why don't this thing slot back in? There we go. Okay, I need an HDD cable. That's not being used. Let's get one from here. Has to be SATA. Oh, that SATA 1 and all that doesn't exist here. Okay. I keep forgetting that. Okay, stick this in here. 
No, is that in? I can't tell. Yep, it's in. Now I gotta get a SATA plug. Okay, so I actually couldn't find where I put my SATA cables, but I found the original one. Uh, I hope this works, because it has this one little uh, bite, I guess, right there. And I don't know if that'll... I don't know if this thing is broken or not. It looks like it is, but I'm not sure. I think that's pretty much it, so let me get this plugged in. And let's see if we missed anything. I'll get the monitor set up. Let's get right in. Okay, so I got it set up. The power supply right there. Here's the cable for it. I got my old Dell uh, membrane keyboard. Uh, VGA monitor. Just got to get that hooked up. I'm going to hopefully be able to use this wireless mouse. Okay, I'm back. I got the monitor hooked up. Um, let's plug this power supply in. And let's just hope that... It doesn't get too noisy, because I remember last time I plugged this thing in, this old power supply is broken or something, and it just ramps the fans up. So, uh, let's plug this in and hope it all sounds okay. It's plugged in. I feel the... You see the fan is spinning there. I see a green light on the Dell computer, I feel the CPU fan is on, and the old power supply fans, I don't know, I can't tell if they're on, I don't think so. The hard drive, the Maxter hard drive is spinning. The graphics card fan is working. Uh, let me see if there's any diagnostic lights. None of the diagnostic lights are on. All I can say is let's press the power button and hope everything goes okay. Okay, I held the power button. The power button was orange. That means there's a problem. So I powered it off. Let's go ahead and power it on one more time. Okay, the power button is still orange. So I'm guessing that's because this power supply, the old one, is still plugged in to certain components that need power. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and try and turn it back on one more time. Okay, so I have no idea why it's not turning on. I uh, plugged in a few, uh, unplugged a few more plugs from the old power supply, but that power supply isn't getting any power, and the things that were plugged into, I already get disconnected from the motherboard. So I'm guessing it's just that that SATA cable was broken because of that chomp there. So I switched the SATA cable from another computer I got and let's plug this back in, see if it works now. Hopefully it'll work. Okay, still not working. Okay, I'm powering it off. I am guessing there's only two things it could be now. Either it's the power supply, I mean, not the power supply, the graphics card, or it's the memory. Okay, so I pretty much tried everything. I took the RAM sticks out, I took the GPU out, I replaced the GPU, I took out all the RAM sticks, I popped in each one one at a time, I unplugged everything except for the motherboard so it could post, I swapped the CPU, I took out all the devices like this, and by the way, this motherboard does have a PCIe 1x slot, which is actually pretty amazing, and uh, it just won't post. So. Pretty much, this computer is not totally broken. The motherboard, I'm guessing, works, but there's something broken with it that's not due to the power supply in here. So, okay, the power supply fan, fan is not turning on, but anyways, it did, it did sound like a monster last time I turned this on. So this PC is pretty much broken, so I'm just going to take whatever parts I can out of it, like this hard drive I could take out of it, but... Seriously, we're never going to use this hard drive. I mean, it's a Maxter hard drive, serial ATA. Yes, it has SATA, but I think it's SATA 2 gigabytes a second or something. I think that thing is very slow, so we're definitely not going to really use that, but uh, taking it out anyways. I took the graphics card out. This sound card, this is what I'm interested in. It's a Sound Blaster, um, Sound Blaster Oddity, what does that say? Sound Blaster Oddity 
V... No, Oddity 2, okay? So this is a sound card. It might work. I think this sound card might still work. So I'm gonna... I will, I'm thinking about making a video about this soon, so taking that out. The graphics card, I'm pretty sure this still works too. So I'm taking this out for a future video. And what else did I take out? Yeah, I took out this networking card because even though it's PCI, not PCIe, still it's a networking card. I'm pretty sure this works too. And the memory sticks, I'm probably going to stick them all back in there, so I'll go back in there. But anyways, that's pretty much the end of this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a like and subscribe. Uh, I know I failed to fix it, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave your comments down below if you can help me fix this machine. Otherwise, just, uh, I don't know, I'll probably put it up on eBay sold as an as-is PC. Those things usually sell pretty good, but uh, anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.